You know, growing up in a family of 20, 12 girls, eight boys, basketball was a sport that we all learned how to play. We couldn't, we couldn't afford to buy a real rim, and we just, we just made it work. You know, not knowing if I would ever play basketball, because I wanted to quit basketball. I wanted to walk away from it. My dad would say, that don't give your power away, and that's your faith, your attitude, and how hard you work. Those three things no one can take away. And that's why I love traveling the world and sharing my, my life story. And I can't do it without talking about my mentor, my teacher, my leader, my father. I, I can remember like it was yesterday, it's like my sister Mayo was a superstar. The top 20 colleges wanted her and I was sort of a nonchalant type of player. You know, it was, now it was my turn and I was, you know, waiting on the, the colleges to reach out to me. And it was late in the game, you know, no coaches in my senior year had reached out to me. And so it got to a point where I was just like a little bit like puzzled, like, wow. I, by this time last year, they all, you know, my sister had been on three or four visits. And this was like late July. I don't know, I just asked my dad, I said, Dad, what do you think? I don't know, Auburn should have uh, at least reached out to me by now. And so my dad said, well, what are you gonna do? You call him, be proactive. And so sure enough, I called Auburn University. And I was like, hey, what's up? Uh, is it about time for me to come on my school visit? And they, was, they said, yes, uh, but we don't have the funds to fly you. That if you wanna come, you know, if we can put you on the bus. It was weird because I get there and I'm expecting them to be excited. So I'm glad you're here. But they said that, you know, we we don't think this is the place for you to play. Uh, so I was very, very shocked and very confused. But they but they said, you know what, we will honor the scholarship, but but we just let you know the reality that you might not really play much until your junior senior year. So I was left with a challenge. And, and, and if it wasn't for my father, I don't even know if I would have embraced that. My father was there to say, you know, yeah, there may be odds against you and I'm, it might look like there's no way out, he said, but there is. And that's what my dad would talk a lot about, faith. He said, you gotta have faith and believe. He said, God is not gonna go out there shooting the baskets for you, but you gotta have faith. If you are determined, great things come from you. If you gotta feel in your heart, this is what you wanna do. I said, Dad, yes, I wanna play basketball. He said, so go for it. And so sure enough, I got on the bus and went, and, and, uh, and, I, and I told Auburn, yes, I wanna come and play. And sure enough, and the rest is history. I ended up starting my freshman year, so all this, basketball playing and think about man all those moments the different crossroads I could have quit and I just found with people around me support me obviously that little bit of time to persevere to the next level which is uh, beautiful so basketball has been great but obviously I know without a doubt it's just been a vehicle to much more so you know it's amazing what happens when you have faith but when you work hard because I had to get that I had to work extra hard and my struggles and my journey and my plan and my travel overseas and my plan 25 years and living in this life and this, you know, I, I've learned for myself the importance of my faith and, and I, I couldn't have made it. You know, Romans, it talks about nothing should separate me from the love of Christ. And that's one of my favorite books in the Bible is the Romans that uh, nothing should separate me from God's love. Persecution, disappointment, rejection, all these things I go through and God is bigger than all of it. I'm Ruthie Bolton, and I play for him.